212-212. Where's Lee Pitts? I can't be waiting on Lee all day now. I done came out here to enjoy the band, enjoy the show. Where's Lee? Lee Pitts. There he is. The only Lee that we acknowledge, Mr. Look, Lee Pitts. Hey, it looked like you over here trying to take over my TV show. That's what it looked like you tried to hey, do. Hey, if you leave it too long, I'll do that. I'll do just that. We good. Yeah, that's what I did. I did it. So we have here the lovely Chantel Rose, candidate for city council. Would that be ward what? That is ward three. Okay, I didn't want to yes. get that wrong. Before I get into politics for a brief minute, how you enjoying what's happening right over your shoulder? They playing boys to men, and I'm just, I'm just vibing. The weather is perfect. The the atmosphere is perfect because it's a mixture of family and friends, and we got some out of towners here. So you know we got to band together when we see these folk. Oh my God! I wish y'all could hear the crowd. Lee got this high tech equipment where you cannot hear what's going on in the background, but the entire crowd is singing to the band. End of the road by Boys to Men. Brand, Brandon, put your headset on. So tell me about that's my son, by the way. Tell me hey, about Brandon. the what this means to your community. You yeah. grew up here in Dunbar. I just you told didn't get a my, chance to go to Dunbar right, High School because right. it didn't exist. I didn't go to Dunbar High School, but let's see here. I brought this bag. This is me representing for my grandmother who was a uh, who is a student here at Dunbar High School. So Dunbar is, is it's ours, it, it belongs to us. So yeah, it's good to be out here. When you think about Dunbar High School as it exists now, I know your grandma were here in the old version of it as a leading tech school in the country. What comes to your mind? I just think of the advancements that this school is making, the barriers that Dunbar High School uh, are, are breaking. Uh, for other students to come excelling in technology, excelling in music. And I just love to see it. We are here. We're represented. And I'm sorry, y'all. I got to, you know, <laughs> I got to bop a little bit. Ah, I got to bop a little bit. I'm sorry. Y'all can't hear what I hear. That's why I look silly right Feeling now. Feeling like that HBCU classic. Yes. And I ain't have to go very far to enjoy it. 15 minutes down the road and I'm here. Well, future councilwoman, this is the first annual. Of course, we can see the potential for this growing and being a centerpiece of the fall season here in the area. Yeah. Uh, what do you hope uh, for the future for the, uh, the jamboree that we're having today? Well, I just told my aunt, my aunt Rose, I just told her, I really hope they have this every year. And hopefully next year we can get the word out about this much sooner so that this crowd can be bigger because this is the feeling that we are trying to embody. This is the energy that we have. It's not all negative in our communities. Like, people out here vibing and having fun, enjoying their families. It's just great to see the people in the stand. I would tell yeah. people, we got about, uh, you know, close to 300 people here all around, food. It's just like uh, a, a, a black uh, family reunion. Absolutely. And, and, and the band's music means so much to our community. Absolutely. Growing up, you grew up in a musical world. In fact, your brother, uh, Chuck Rose is going to be performing in, in, uh, uh, on Friday at Lee Pitts Live after work. And uh, it's just uh, your mom uh, in, um, in the music, yes. Darlene uh, yes. Mitchell. I never asked you that you ever indulge in music as well. So, oh, what a, what a topic. Because I, I did not pick up that musical enthusiasm like my brother did. And while I was surrounded by music, I can do very well in a choir. Uh, singing soprano, but I am not that showstopper. Like my mama, she's a showstopper. <laughs> right. My Aunt Rose, who's up there in the stands, she's a showstopper. Okay. So I grew up around the greats, and it's not. Would that be Rose Edie Govan? That's Rose Edie Govan. Where's, 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 she's right there, and she's a she's an alumni of uh, That's right there, Florida right. Memorial. I hope I can get her That's down here her. For an interview. Yes. So yeah. this is her school that is gotcha. featured here tonight. All so right, this gotcha. is excellence all, all around me. So I learned to stay I in my lane, Lee. Too. Yeah, I learned okay. to stay in my lane. So okay. yeah. Okay, the um You are running for city council. I am. Ward three. That's correct. This is not your ward. 
but the whole city of Fort Myers is dear and dear to you. Absolutely. Why did you feel it was important that you come out here today? Well, because I want to see my family and friends. I want to come and see Lee Pitts. This is the place, these gatherings mean so much to us because they give us an opportunity to connect with people who are like us. And you mentioned the music. Some of the songs that are played here, you see the whole crowd, intergenerational. The whole crowd will start bouncing and grooving to a song because it's a part of our culture, it's black culture. So I have to come and rest in black culture. I have to come and get my, my feels with black culture because I don't get this often. I'm glad you mentioned that, Chantel, the whole cultural thing. Yeah. Because it's, a, it's, it's culture and diversity and sensitivity to all peoples and what they enjoy and what they like right. that you would bring to your bully pulpit as a city council person. Right. You are sensitive, uh, intricately w woven into the area, and that can't escape you when you're sitting there deliberating on policies and things that impact our entire community. Absolutely. Speak to that. I mean, that's why I wanted to run. It's because I, I was able to have these experiences with so many different types of people. And, you know, some people will look at that as like, oh, she all over the place. Well, yeah, you're right, I'm all over the place. I'm talking to different types of people. I understand what is important to different types of people. And it's a, it's a game of knowing how to flow, knowing how to fit in, knowing how to move appropriately so that you can advocate for people, teach people how to advocate for themselves. This is, this is a universal love that we're talking about and a universal uplifting. So I, I take pride in bringing my, my variety of, of experiences, you know, even my spirituality and my faith and what that means to me, but how that has also evolved over the years. And so I feel like I'm the right person to help take this entire city to another level, to a higher level. What has been uh, so far as you started the campaign, which will be for 2022, mm -hmm. the primaries will be September 2022. What has, uh, as you're starting to move around now, getting the lay of the land, shaking hands, meeting people and organizing, what has been some of the feedback that you've already started to get? People are excited. People? They're excited to, uh, they're, a lot of people are saying, you know what, it's about time we got a woman like you elected into this city council. Uh, it's about time that we got some, some diversity represented here. And not just the diversity, they, they look at, what I talk about, what is important to me. And a lot of people are very excited. I will say that. Look into that camera, take 30 seconds, tell people how to get involved with your campaign. All right. And tell them when they vote for Chantel, what they're going to get. When you vote for Chantel, you are voting for a representative that is gonna to listen to you, that is gonna help interpret what you have to say, and that is also going to help educate you on things that affect your life, such as policies, such as resources, such as procedures. So when you elect me, you are electing somebody that is homegrown, born and raised right here in the city of Fort Myers, grew up, spent a lot of my time in Ward 3, as well as other places within this city. So you getting somebody going to bat for you that, that, has, that has learned how to advocate, how to stand up for themselves, how to be professional, ready, how to be intelligent, but yeah. Let's see, let's see what we got. But I'm doing this for you. We together, Fort Myers. There you go. The, um, the uh, Chantel, much success in your campaign. Thank sure you so coming. much, Lee. Thank you. You'll be coming on Lee Pitts Live uh, as we can proceed down this road. We right. need a voice like you uh, on that city council, and we're looking forward to uh, you uh, as a city council person. Thank you so much, Lee. The only Lee that I acknowledge. All right. We're here at the North Law Firm Stadium. We are witnessing the band Jamboree. It's a historical first annual. Lee Pitts is here live, is here Johnny on the spot. We wouldn't have missed this for the world. Shout out to Carl Burnside, the principal here at Dunbar High School. Shout out to Doc Irvin, the music director over there with the band, who have made this a reality. Special shout out to Chantel Rose, a candidate for a city council, who, if she wasn't even running for city council, we know Chantel would be right out here supporting, and that's what we like to see. So as we part, Lee Pitts Live is a media sponsor. It is no more appropriate than right now. 
Miami has the oranges, but, but Fort, Fort Myers, Myers got the, has the juice. We got the juice. All this is juice. <laughs> we got the juice. We'll be right back. All right.